At the top at 6 tonight, a Monday attack on Border Patrol agents in Cameron County has them on high alert. People in the area taking note as well. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson went to the edge of the Rio Grande in Brownsville for the story. Working on the Rio Grande is dangerous for the men and women of Border Patrol. Injuries range from bug bites to objects being hurled at them from the other side of the river. The risks are a daily concern for agents in the valley. Brownsville Riverine agents faced a unique threat on Monday. Our agents are out there patrolling on boats and they were assaulted by uh, some individuals on the Mexican side. Bricks thrown in their direction. They escaped without injuries. They're really the tip of the spear for as far as Homeland Security. Smugglers floated a jeep filled with marijuana across the river about an hour later. It happened downstream from the attack. Agents got the drugs and vehicle. Special Operations Supervisor Omar Zamora says the attack may have been a diversion. They use all kinds of distraction devices, uh, oftentimes or techniques as well. Bricks are just one of the threats agents face. Definitely within rock throwing distance, brick throwing distance. Sometimes they like to tie up ropes or cables to kind of, you know, damage the boats. People north of the river are taking note too. It's very concerning because, I mean, it's not too far from here. Hector Espino lives with his family about a quarter mile from the Rio Grande. <laughs> Their house stands in the shadow of the existing border fence. Espino says the sounds of revving Border Patrol vehicles are a reminder of what goes on. That's when you know either a person's crossing or drugs or some kind of activity that's involving something coming to the U.S. You just hear them race across, left or right, all day. Espino showed us a chain link fence the family put up themselves. He says it keeps people crossing illegally off their property. You never know who, who can pass through here, and it's just not safe to have it open. Zamora says agents have their own forms of protection as well. They wear helmets and ballistic armor while on patrol. They're prepared to defend themselves if necessary. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez did some digging on the number of agents here who were impacted by all kinds of injuries. She joins us live in Westlaco with more. Injuries among Border Patrol agents are rising. The number of times that Border Patrol agents became injured is growing nationally and here in the RGV sector. Here's a look at what that looks like. This is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics Office. According to their data, their numbers climbed from fiscal year 2015 to 2017. It went from 3,391 cases to 3,550, and last year, 3,615. In the Rio Grande Valley sector, there's a similar upward trend. 621 agents reported some type of injury in fiscal year 2015. That went up to 680 in 2016 and then higher last year to 758 reported injuries. When we look just at percentage differences, there's a greater difference in the RGV sector. Nationwide, there was a 4.7 percentage growth from 2015 to 2016 and then a 1.8% increase from 2016 to last year in the RGV from 2015 to 2016. The change was 9.5, and from 2016 to last year, there was an 11% increase. These injuries are not just from assaults, but can be reported due to other physical challenges on the job. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.